Hello and welcome to Manuka Oval for the Prime Minister's Eleven match. The Prime Minister's Eleven playing against India. This is the ninth of the PM's matches under the patronage of Bob Hawke and uh, they've won the last two matches. So they're looking for the hat-trick here today against India at Manuka Oval. Well, the two teams for this match, the PM's 11, as ever, captained by Alan Border. Then we have Matthew Hayden of Queensland, Greg Blewett of South Australia, Michael Bevan of New South Wales, Jamie Siddons recovered from injury, Damian Martin, Tim Zura, both of those players from Western Australia, Greg Rowell from Queensland, Shane Warne, the uh, leg spinner from Victoria, Dave Gilbert of Tasmania, Damian Fleming of Victoria and Ian Garrity of the ACT is the 12th man. For India, well they have a couple of uh, injury problems. Their captain, Mohammad Azaruddin, is out with a back injury. So the uh, side is being captained by Ravi Shastri. He'll open the batting with Chris Srikanth. Then we have Sanjay Mandraka, Sachin Tendulkar, Dilip Vengsaka gets an opportunity today, Praveen Amray, and then we have Venkatapati Raju, who comes into the team in place of Kapil Dev, who's having trouble with a stiff neck. Then Manoj Prabhaka, Chandra Pandit, the wicketkeeper. Then we have Saurav Ganguly, who is the all-rounder, and then Javagal Srinath, who's done so well on this tour with the new ball and bowling in the number three spot. All right, the captains are ready now. They're out in the middle with Bill Laurie. Hi, guys. Here's Bill. Uh, Premier <laughs> Yeah, right. Oops. Way. Okay. Oh. Sales it is. Okay. Sales it is. Got to bat first. Okay. Okay. Alan Border won the toss and elected to bat on a perfect batting pitch. We pick up play in the second over. It's from Anthony to Hayden. The score is no wicket for three. Yeah. It's a nice start by the yeah. left handed opener. Hayden timing that beautifully. He's hit that out, straight to the man at square leg. He's dropped it in short, and Matthew Hayden pulling the ball away. Van Gangully at square leg, or it's Swakanth. Swakanth at square leg, so Hayden departs well caught off a shortish delivery. Matthew Hayden goes, Srinath around the wicket, very short, on the half front foot, and found Swakanth just forward of the square leg umpire. Disappointment for Matthew Hayden. Plenty of runs already this season. This was a showpiece game for him, but he departs with a total on 10 in the sixth over. Jamie Siddons batting at number three for the Prime Minister's 11. This is a reorientation period for the uh, South Australian captain. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear. So not very unlucky there, because he didn't hit that hard at all. He just glided it straight to the gully fieldsman. The Knights Prabhaka and he put him down. Siddons is definitely looking to get on with it and to uh, hit a few over the infield in the first 15 overs. That's the second time he's used that uh, shot. Srinath continues from the Manuka end. He's got that one away fine. Tendulkar is fairly square, so the first boundary there for the PM's 11. Safe. Over backward square leg. And a long chase there for Tendulkar. There's a boundary line around there, and it's just crossed the boundary line, so 11 runs coming in that over for the PM side. They're 1 for 34. Siddon really is uh, playing some, well, I guess you could only possibly describe them as wild village yahoos. I guess it is uh, sort of a village game. It's a carnival atmosphere, but this, not, this attack is not to be taken for granted. You can't give yourself room and charge as early as Siddons, and Siddons has against the experience of people like Prabhaka. There's a lot more about him than just running in. Maintained a stranglehold on the early order here. Beautifully bowled. And uh, <laughs> that was a pretty good reply to somebody who's uh, charging you. A magnificent Yorker. He's taken the honours all morning, Manoj Prabhaka. And 
there, the virtual unplayable Yorker. Siddons looking to play on the up. Didn't reckon that he'd be given the, the sand shoe crushing Yorker. And that's hit at the base of Midland leg. And what a fine delivery from Prabaka. Michael uh, Bevan, who's made such an impact with the New South Wales side. It's his opportunity here for the PM's 11, batting at number four. So the all-rounder, Ganguly, comes into the attack at the Manuka end. He'll be bowling to Greg Blewett. Lofting that one away over backward square leg. A short delivery from Ganguly. Beautifully placed. Upfield can be a bit slow here at Manuka. No trouble chalking up the second boundary in this over for Greg Blewett. 2 for 81 after 22 overs. Prime Minister's 11 and it's going to be the Indian captain Ravi Shastri to bowl his left arm orthodox spinners to Michael Bevan. And strikes that beautifully. Beach cover. There's a sweeper at point for Barker. Pick up three and that's excellent running. Lewitz facing Shastri. Sweeps. Beats Barker. That's four. That's sweetly timed. That brings up 50 for Greg Blewett. He was slow early, but now he's starting to play shots on both sides of the wicket. It's a very warm round of applause. And the Prime Minister enjoyed that. So Greg Blewett, a half century in this one of uh, his most important matches so far in his career of just 75 balls. And if the PM's 11 are going to get a good score, he's got to get three figures. It's nicely lofted over mid-wicket. And he's beating the outfielder there. Terrific placement, tremendous timing as always when Michael Bevan lashes out. The uh, fielders having trouble picking up the, the ball, not that it would have made any difference there, but the outfielders uh, having real trouble sighting the red ball. It's two for 138. Shastri continues to blew it. That's well taken by uh, Pandit. Well bowled by Ravi Shastri. Very casual piece of uh, stumping, but uh, he'd done the hard bit. Pandit, he'd taken the ball, and he knew that Blewett wasn't going to get back in a hurry. Damien Martin is the new batsman. Good run right after a slow start, 4.4. There's 50 for Michael Bevan. He really is a class player, and... Uh, as I said, apart from Alan Border, I think a class above the, the rest of the young players on show here at Monica Oval. He's pulled that out to the man there, and he's holed out. You wouldn't believe that. Pabaka at deep mid-wicket. It was a short delivery. And Raju's final over, and he's played the pull shot, not hitting him on the ground. He's very annoyed, and so he should be. He's hit it straight down Pabaka's throat. Bevan on his way, it's a sparkling innings from him. In the end, he just short arm jolted. A very shortish ball from Raju, and Prabhaka's out cricket all day has been brilliant, and he held a straightforward catch at deep mid wicket. Hands, and he goes. The PM's 11 4 for 162. New batsman is Tim Zura. Through mid wicket. Two more to Damien Martin. It's four for 176. <laughs> Sweeps nicely. They go for four. Fine shot. Tim Zura beating the man at backward square leg. Four for 186. Big shout there from Pandit and umpire Davidson has given Tim Zura caught by his counterpart Pandit. Zura 
coming in with the express intention of pushing the score rate along, trying to late cut the ball outside the off stump. Ben Pandit making no mistake with that edge. Incoming batsman is Alan Border. He'll be facing Ravi Shastri. Border off the mark from the first bait ball he faces. running but throw was slow and fraction wide border took the fieldsman on now Murray and he was going to be in a bit of danger here there's the fieldsman with the ball now border's got a long way to go but the throw was wide and slow and he's got border so a second wicket for Prabhaka he's bowled the Prime Minister's 11 captain Alan Border with a very foolish delivery border looking to work it over mid wicket and he goes with his total on 21 so a fine little hand from the prime minister's captain good bowling by Prabhaka saw border making some width he pushed the ball in on his pads it was a ricochet onto the stumps border out for quick fire 21 of only 27 balls faced at six for 238 and the new man is greg rowell And that's out too. So Raoul goes, bowled by Srinath without scoring. PM's 11 now starting to lose some wickets late in the innings. Shane Warne makes his way to the wicket. Very handy lower order batsman can hit a ball. That's excellent fielding. And Warne would have been struggling had he hit the stunts. It's a beautiful pickup on his follow through. A very athletic young man, Javagal Srinath. Push to his left, pick up with the left hand, transfer to the right, and that was out by some way if he hits. He'll go for the second, and there's a misfield by Srikant. So Martin takes his half hundred off the last ball of the PM's 11 innings. That's a delightful innings from the Western Australian. And the total after 50 overs, seven for 244. So very good innings there from the PM's 11 and they've set the Indians a pretty stiff target. It's 245 runs at 4.9 per over. Let's see how they progress. for a big score in, a, in the test match. And you can't bowl there to Krishnachari Srikanth. Wide, giving himself, giving him room, leaving the bat, and he swats that through cover for four. And he's gone, off stump gone as he tries to hike that one over mid-wicket. Didn't do too much, it was just that uh, Srikanth was trying to hike it over mid-on from off stump. And the number three batsman, Sarav Ganguly. Gooley off the mark. Nice deflection. Should look for two. Comes back for two. That's good running. Down the mid-off. Good save. Saved by Matthew Hayden at mid-off. Two hundred and fifteen runs required for victory with nine wickets in hand. Good match. He's gone. Yes, good catch. Good delivery from Fleming. Moving across the left hand. He flashed. A very good catch and a very good delivery. And there's just a little bit of up and down bounce as Fleming receives the congratulations of his teammates. 
Ganguly's on his way. This was bowled across him. Left him off the seam, bounced. Nick and Zura doesn't drop those. Fleming's delighted. So's the Prime Minister's 11. Border in to congratulate. And Ganguly on his way. He made eight off 18 deliveries. And India, two for 30. That is a good shot. That's a superbly timed shot. That's four. He really is a fine all-round cricketer. Fleming looking for some swing here. The ball doesn't move, stays on the line of the pads, and Prabhaka strangles it through square leg and gives nobody any chance. Good response there from Prabhaka. It's two for 40. As Martin's in, hits the stumps and dear oh me. With the benefit of the replay, that's very, very out. Straight to Alan Border at mid-wicket. He specialises there. And that's the end of Prabhaka. A lot of bottom hand in that shot. He was having trouble picking the gaps in the field and he decided to try and get over the infield. But mistimed that one straight to border. Three for 71. Session Tenduka. 18 years of age. Look at that strike rate, 80.6, career average of 28. That'll improve as he gains with experience and gets the odd not out of two. He's gone for that. That's a big hit over Warren's head. Warren going back for it. Falls in safely. Happy with two. Time has gone out. There's a man out there. It's Bevan. He's coming around quickly. He may not get it. That's four. That's well placed between Bevan at mid wicket and Gilbert at backward square. It's three for 83. And we get our first look at uh, Shane Warne, who'll be coming from the Manuka end. Full pitch. And that beats mid off. That should go all the way. Indian flags being waved there after Rengsaka's off drive for a boundary. Rengsaka too experienced to miss out on a full toss like that, finding the gap to perfection. Greg Blewett. That's nicely timed. That's just what the doctor ordered. Beautifully executed straight drive. And Tendulkar starting to flower here at Manuka. Although Blewett on, is only a part-time bowler, Tendulkar has just leaned into this stroke. He's, he's got a very straight ball. And that's a, that's a beautiful extension. High left elbow, and that races away. Touch! It's gone again over mid-off this time, not quite straight picks up two more at least he's looking for three probably was there it was there bill with spikes on but as we said sachin tendulka batting with the rubbers he's sliding in he knows it and he's just not game enough to push off for the third run when it's on he can't won't back his his um sand shoes after 30 overs india three for 116 just behind the PM11 rate, and it's worn to Tendulkar. And that's beautifully bowled. And Tendulkar acknowledges that. That's beautifully hit. Much needed boundary there for India, it's three for 123.
And well caught. Beautifully caught there by Damian Martin at cover. And that ends uh, Tendulkar's innings. So Raul coming back and doing the job for his skipper. Tendulkar wanted full deliveries. He didn't give him any. He made him go on the up. A risky shot and Damian Martin diving forward at extra cover did the rest. That's a very fine catch. 23-year-old Praveen Amre comes to the crease now. Yeah. And a big shout there and Tim Zura has a victim. And uh, a good reward there. Shane Warne has bowled well and he picks up Amre. Even before he's got the measure of the pitch, he's out caught behind. Sanjay Mandraker is the new batsman. Mid on, Damien Fleming. So wickets falling uh, in a bit of a hurry here as India slipped behind in the run rate. Greg Sackler trying to force the pace getting it where the manufacturer's name would be except he doesn't have a manufacturer's name on his bat Ravi Shastri it's not easy to come in the final overs try and force the pace Ravi Shastri so used to opening the batting and trying to get the side off to a good start is finding this a little different there's overthrows there Brewer's going to clean up Extra two runs for India. The end for Shane Warne. No wicket for 47. Uh, one for 47. That's six for 156. Rao continues with two for 20. Swing and a miss. He's gone. He got a touch of that. Yes, through to the wicket keeper. Rao strikes again. Shastri out for nine. And young Greg Rao having a very good match at Manica Oval. Frustration getting the better of Shastri there, trying to go for a wild hit. New batsman to the crease is Chandra Pandit, the wicketkeeper batsman. And that's another wicket to roll. Mandreka making room on the offside, missing the ball completely. And the match is now out of India's hand. Reward for accuracy as well. He's been very impressive. Srinath, the new batsman, to face Greg Rowell. And there's number five for Greg Rowell. Very accurate once again. Smashing in the middle stump. Looked like he had an early appointment. As India slumped to nine for 161. Number 11 for India, Ben Katapati Raju. Very nearly a terrific catch there to Tim Zura. And dropped the Ken. Two and two balls, neither of them easy. But uh, Greg Rowell remains on five wickets, conceded just 25, so he's had a day. Oh, and that's got to be very close. So he finishes with six. The last ball of his uh, 10 over spell, Greg Rowell does. Uh, Raju with the full toss, meant to be a Yorker, but it was right on line. And that's a, an appropriate finish because he bowled accurately all day. And the local boy returns and is the hero today, Greg Rowell. Six wickets against a touring team. Well, the PM's 11 made it a hat-trick of victories here at Manuka Oval with a comfortable victory over the touring Indian side.